This week on Sport Fishing, we're fishing out of Dana War Sport Fishing out of Dana Point, California. We're aboard the Sump Fund. We're gonna start off hitting some cow patties offshore, looking for yellowtail, maybe even a tuna or two. And if we have time later in the show, we'll go along the beach look for calico bass. So stay tuned for this week's exciting episode of Sport Fishing. I'm Dan Hernandez and I live to fish. That's a nice vermilion right there. Yeah! This is what fish is like. I have been fishing along the Pacific Coast my entire life. Let me bring you in in the action and share with you some great fishing tips along the way. Hey guys, my name is Brian Woolley, captain of the Sun Fun here at Danaware Sport Fishing. Been on the boat here for 17 years. We're out here today, uh, this time of year, we're typically fishing the coastal kelp lines for uh, calico bass, sand bass, bonito barracuda, occasionally yellowtail. But today we decided to have the boat offshore here with this El Nino condition we got going on. We're uh, finding different chunks of kelp, you know, floating kelp patties out here. We found one this morning, uh, had some good little yellowtail on it, and had good little action on that. And uh, saw a few nice fish come over the rail for our passengers here today. And we're uh, just fly lining sardines and having some good action on, uh, on these kelp patties out here today. Oh, he's going with the kelp again. Oh, no, 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 no. Right on the kelp. You got him out of the kelp. You got him out of the kelp. He's about 15 feet away now. Good job. You got him out of there. The ice. Nice Come on over in the corner. Coming over. Come on. 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 <laughs> yeah, I'm right behind him, I'm right behind him. <laughs> all right, you got a few lines over here, uh, Shane. Yeah. I'm coming all the way down here. I'm coming all the way down. 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 I'm Jeff! 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 Jeff. Where is Joshua. it? Joshua, come here. Where is it? Where is it? Pull it in. There we go. Joshua. Good man. Reel it in fast, Josh. Right on. Okay, Dan, I just caught a fish. Bring it back. Bring it back. Yeah. Yeah. Got it. 
All right. Nice job. Okay, free spool that. Here's another tuna, another yellowtail. We're on a good bite here by the Sump Fun, fishing offshore. Get a bunch of these yellows right now. Let's take a little break from the action, go to the tackle box, give you a good look at the gear we're using today's fishing. I got one on. This week in the Tackle Box, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what we're doing today. We're fishing offshore, chasing schools of Dorado, finding them under cow patties, finding them floating around out there. And there's some yellowtail mixed in too. Now the water's crystal clear and the fish are really line shy. So instead of fishing 40 and 50 pound tests, today we're getting away with 30 pound test line and also using some 30 pound fluorocarbon on top of that. Now normally with these larger baits, you'd think about using a size 4.0 or 5.0 hook but today we're actually fishing smaller hooks, size 3 O's. But uh, let you see the hooks a little bit better. I have some bigger hooks here for you to see. And these are both made by Mustad. And why I want to show them to you is they both have rings on them. They're ringer hooks. Now, you can get by by just using a regular hook if you learn how to tie a perfection loop knot. But if you don't know how to tie a knot like that, go ahead and pick up these Mustad ringer hooks. And that ring on your hook is going to make your bait swing a lot better and look more lifelike to the fish. This is what the hook looks like, a nice close-up of it. And that little ring, you may not think it's really that important, but having that little ring on there, let your bait move any direction it wants, is gonna help you catch more fish. Especially a bite like today, where the fish are really picky, having a nice ringer hook on there will help out. Now today I'm using a circle hook. Lots of times I like to use a J hook, but it seems like today when the fish are running with it, I don't wanna do anything to spook them. So I'm just using a circle hook. So when the fish runs, I just put the reel in gear and the fish will hook itself. It's working out really good. So this is the basic gear we're using for today's trip. Let's get back on the water and show you more exciting action right here on Sport Fishing. Well, we're offshore a little bit outside of Dana Point and I decided not to go fish the calicos and come out here and look at the kelps. And we're in a pretty good bite. We got yellowtail going all around the boat. I got one hooked down here too using 30 pound test line, medium action rod, and live sardine. We got about five or six going, see fish breaking back there, fish jumping, it's pretty crazy. Coming through. This history making moment here yep. on sport fishing. Tony's on a fish. I'll take, I'll take, I'll take the salad. With Get all the crew members you can to help him. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Yay. There you go. Good job, Tony. Thank you, Dan. Here, here we go. Here comes my fish. I'll just bounce it. Here we go. Here's a yellow right here. Here we go. This is what we're doing right now, catching yellowtail. Nice sized fish. Everybody thinks it's a miracle, but I have caught fish before. All right, let's take a little break from the action and go to the galley, show you how to cook up one of these delicious fishing we're catching today aboard the Sump Fun. Nice fish. This week in the galley, we're in Cerritos, California at Pier 76 Fish Grill. Hey, Chris. Dan, pleasure to have you. Chris is the owner and he's inviting us down. He's a big fisherman too. And uh, what do you have in store for us today? Today we're gonna do a fish taco, but not just any fish taco, a smoked fish taco. All right, so the fish has already been smoked. Fish is smoked. You now, have a little bit of seasoning on it? Yes, we do, with just a little bit of herbs and I lightly toss it in a lemon aioli. At home, you can do this under your broiler. So you put it on the broiler setting where the temperature is, the heat is coming from the top. the top. You know, I think some ovens, old ovens, you put it down on the bottom of the oven, right? where it kind of, And that's gonna be the most important part. And we'll see after about four minutes that it's really gonna create a nice golden brownness. So we'll go ahead and place this up here. I use a corn tortilla. Of course, you can use any corn tortilla, but I, the flavor of the corn tortilla is better. I like to... A lot here. less calories. Yeah. No flour. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So we'll do that. We're just going to place these right on the grill right now. 
So for this dish, we already have our prepared tomatoes, mm -hmm. our prepared green onions, avocado. I throw the lemon on the grill as well. It imparts just another level of flavor. If you're home with a barbecue, you could do the same thing. Absolutely. That's one of the things I've learned. Even with vegetables, throw them on the grill. Yeah. So with that smokiness, what we do here at the restaurant, we make a tangerine salsa. And the last component that we do is the cream part. We have a roasted tomato cream. Here at the restaurant, I'll put them right. That's what I'm talking about. That little color makes all the difference. Yes. So now we're going to check our fish. Oh, yeah, caramelized yeah. on top. Caramelized on top. And that's really what the aioli helps impart to. And it's also going to impart some flavor as well. So here we have our fish. And now we are going to build our taco. Our roasted tomato cream. We roast the tomatoes, mix it with a little sour cream. And now we're going to fill the taco with this wonderful smoked fish. All right, our next step on the process is going to be just adding a little bit of cabbage. This is what I would die in the taste. Yes. We have our tangerine. tangerine salsa, tomatoes, our green onions, and the grilled onion. I mean the grilled lemon. We can always add avocado as well. Okay, Chris, I gotta try this. Yeah, you got it. Mmm. Does that work out? That is delicious. I've had lots of fish tacos in my life. That's huh. a totally different taste. Yes. And I like how you just take it up a notch. I mean, it's a healthier fish taco than I'm used to. Right. Because there's no deep frying involved in here. It's just a great, great dish. But not really lacking on the flavor because of those techniques. The smoking technique, the roasting technique, adding the acid brings up the flavor. And that tangerine And the tangerine sauce is just delicious. Yes. That's really good. Thank you very much, man. Well, Dan, pleasure to have you. Thank you. And uh, Pier 76 Fish Grills, located in Cerritos, right across street from the mall. And your website address? Pier76fishgrill.com. All right, man. Thanks again. Likewise. Let's get back on the water and show you more exciting action right here on Sport Fishing. Oh. Hey, you're doing good. Keep the bend in that row. There you go, that's it. Take a couple cranks. Every chance you get to turn the handle. Which way does it go? One way. It's not going. There you go. Keep going, keep turning. Keep turning, keep turning. Keep going, keep going. There you go. Come on, come on, bring it up. Near the boat. Stay away from the boat, buddy. <laughs> Woo, that was a little bit better. Look at this, he broke somebody off. Look at this. Coming down, coming down. Dan, that's my second one. How many do you have yet? Alright. Here he comes, here he comes. Come on down, come on down. Come on down. <clears throat> Who did I just hit with a hook? Me. Do I get a free hamburger? Yes, you yeah. <laughs> Okay, it hurt really bad. Okay, cheeseburger. Yeah. Come on, buddy. I'll get you a hot, I'll get you a hot dog. <laughs> Next trip, right? Wind down. Wind down. There you go. You I'll pull them out. Nice job. Hi. <laughs> Our pelagic yellowtail on the kill patties, guys. Perfect sardines. Great job. Out away from the boat. Camera time here is an extra. If you want to know what not to do, watch this. 
<laughs> I'm so proud of you, Jim. We got you to wear real fishing clothes now, real fishing equipment. My tux is still in the cleaners. This is good. This is good. No. Well, that thing's a whole long way out there, isn't it? I hope there's a fish. It's not just your bait. It doesn't feel very big. There it is. It's on the surface. Dorado! Oh, another one! Let the line go, let that line go! Nice throttle. Hey man, you like it's nothing, you know? Turn around! Oh. <laughs> hey, Dan taught me everything I know. This is Jim, one of our volunteers at the Youth Foundation. Came out today with us, got a beautiful Dorado. Is this your first Dorado? No, oh, man. It's going to be a second Dorado ever. It's a beautiful, beautiful fish. Yeah, and a local trip too. This is great. We're really close. Dana Point out, Dana Worth Sport Fishing. Nice, beautiful fish. We just got a really good bite on this cow patty on Dorado. Cher's got a fish. I got a Dorado. We got two more on the bow. Let's get Cher's fish right here. Let's see how it goes. We got so two going, going back here. Yep. Yeah. Mine's outside, hers is close. Cool. Good job, Jimmy. Get that puppy down. Yeah. This is the way you do it. got this Dorado here on this cow. We've hooked probably five or six of them. This fish I've been fighting for a little bit. Here he comes right here, color. I don't know, I know. I just want a camera one more time. Get him. Here you go. I'm gonna lay him flat. <laughs> one more time. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me flat, let me flat. Okay. Here we go. There we go. All right, nice Dorado. <clears throat> Nice Dorado. Just fun time out here on the Sun Fun today. 
You know, normally we'd be fishing the kelp, looking for calico bass and sand bass, but it's El Nino conditions this year. You don't have to go far out. We're, I don't know, under 10 miles off the beach and just catching beautiful fish like this. Beautiful Dorado. You think about going to Mexico, San Diego, catch fish like that. Here's another one right here. This is the one my nephew just caught, Josh. 14 another years one. old. Got his first Dorado. It's pretty cool. We're going to take a little break from the action. When we return, I'll be giving you this week's tip of the week. For this week's tip of the week, I want to talk to you a little bit about what we did today on the Sun Fun fishing offshore. We got those Yellowtown Dorado using live bait. Now the fish got a little bit picky, so they had to downsize your hook. And that's this week's tip. When the fish get a little picky, instead of using a size 3.0 for the sardines or small mackerel, drop down to size 1 or 1.0. And that's what I did, and that's how I caught my fish. Well, I want to thank the whole crew of the Sun Fun. It's a lot of fun fishing with them today. And because it's an El Nino season, you can catch these Dorado and Yellowtail, even the tuna, close to um, the shore, or we say along the beach, anywhere like 10, 15 miles out. Normally you have to travel a long distance, but El Nino year, water gets warm, those fish come close, and it's a lot of fun fishing, local fishing. Well, again, I want to thank the crew of the Sun Fun. We had lots of fun. I'm Dan Hernandez, hoping you enjoyed this week's episode of Sport Fishing, and I hope you join us again next week as we go looking for more of the best in sport fishing.